welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss on a new chapter, chapter 10, Wave Properties of Particle. So in this video, we are going to discuss on 10.1, the De Broglie Wave Plan. So before we start, let us look at the equations that we will use for this subtopic. So we will use the De Broglie Wave Plan, where lambda is equal to h over p. Okay, so p is actually a momentum. Okay, or we can write the equation lambda equals to h over mv. Start with example 1. In a photoelectric effect experiment, a light source of the wavelength 515 nanometer is incident on a sodium surface. So determine the momentum and the energy of the photon use. Okay, so since this is a light source, okay, so we can use the equations wavelength equals to h over p to find the momentum. Okay, where the momentum of the photon is equal to h over lambda. So I will substitute h is the Planck constant 6.63 exponent negative 34 and the wavelength is 515 nanometer. Therefore, the momentum that we will get for the photon is 1.21 exponent negative 27 and the unit is kg meter per second. Since the equation is p equals to mv, so m is the mass, v is the velocity. Therefore, the unit for the momentum is kg meter per second. Okay, next is photon energy. Okay, so photon energy, we must go back to chapter 9 where E is equal to HF or E is equal to HC over lambda. Okay, so since wavelength is different, so we will use E equals to HC over lambda where H is 6.63 exponent negative 34. C is the speed of light, so 3 exponent 8 and the wavelength is 515 nanometer. Therefore, the photo energy is equal to 3.62 exponent negative 19 and the unit is joule. Okay, next example 2. Calculate the de Broglie wavelength of if the mass is given is 77 kg and the speed is 4.1. Okay, so the de Broglie wavelength is equal to h over p or h over nv. Okay, so we just substitute in h is the Planck constant and m is given 77 kg, v is 4.1 meter per second. Okay, they brought the de Broglie wavelength of the Joker is equal to 2.1 exponent negative 36 meter. Okay, next example 3. An electron and a proton have the same speed. Okay, which has the longer de Broglie wavelength? Okay, so we can use the equations lambda equals to h over nv to do comparison. Okay, so h is a constant value, and the question also mentioned that they have the same speed. Okay, meaning that v is constant as well. Therefore, our wavelength is inversely proportional to mass. Okay, so if you compare the mass of the proton, for example. Okay, and we notice that the mass of the proton, okay, if you refer here, the mass of the proton is 1.67 exponent negative 27 kg, whereas the mass of the electron is 9.11 exponent negative 31. Okay, so meaning that the mass of the proton, okay, the mass of the proton is greater than the mass of electron. Okay, so if the mass of the proton is greater than electron, meaning that wavelength of the proton, of course, will be smaller. Okay, so we can write the conclusion. Okay, uh, because mp, mass of the proton, is greater than the mass of the electron, therefore, wavelength of the proton is smaller than the wavelength of electron. Okay, so we can use the equations here okay, where we know that wavelength is inversely proportional to the mass. Okay, so b, calculate the ratio of wavelength of the electron over wavelength of the proton. Okay, so wavelength of the electron over wavelength of the proton is equal to mass of the proton over mass of the electron. Okay, because we know that wavelength is inversely proportional. So we substitute in mass of the proton is 1.67 exponent negative 27 and mass of the electron is 9.11 exponent negative 31. Okay, so if you calculate we will get the ratio of wavelength electron over wavelength of the proton is 1833. Okay, so no unit because ratios, that's why no unit. Okay, so that's all for this uh, subtopic. So we'll continue with 10.2. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye.